Hello, everyone. Welcome back to a, another episode of, hopefully the final episode of Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventures. Give us a quick second while this activates. There we go. You see it? Yeah, I see it. Yep. Today we have um, Aiden with us. Hopefully, um, Bully will be joining us so shortly as well. So, so right now we're at the Ice Temple because in this particular area of Hyrule, the powers of darkness, or more specifically, the power... Oh, sorry. The powers of darkness have frozen time in this area, as in everything is stuck in winter. If they can freeze time, I don't I don't like our odds of winning this. Yeah, that that's just what that's just like the side effects of um of what Potty is doing. The um we were at the um you see the um pyramid. We discovered that some we discovered that Ganondorf even the yeah, Ganondorf had recently obtained the a um evil a uh, trident of darkness, and it and it is entirely likely that he was the one who grabbed the dark mirror, which is what's creating all these um, shadow lakes. So that's it's always. Yep. So now we're about to enter into the ice temple. Seriously? That bat was cam camouflaged into the wall. <laughs> They're getting clever. Yeah, it's all blue. Kitty. Kitty, what is it? life not been going your way that's just tough isn't it kitty I'm gonna see if there's any switches down here nope. I love I love being able to flip those switches without requiring going into formation, because a lot of times they end up looking in like very weird positions, even though all the buttons are supposed to be pressed at the same time. So uh, what all have I missed? I know I've been away for a while. Okay, so we've rescued all but Zel. All but all the mains except for um, Princess Zelda, and we have all of the, and we have all of the um, royal jewels. To, so then that way we should be able to enter into the Tower of, Tower of Heavens. We just need we just need to get there. Which means we're going on a trip. Ah. Darn Armos. Let's check down here real quick. Ah. 
Now it's time for ice physics. Ice physics, the best game mechanic. Okay, that was a terrible idea. I do have another idea. One at a time. Okay. Okay, so if one's in Okay, so if one character's in the game Okay, so if one character's in the Game Boy Advance, I can't just swap them out with somebody else. They thought about that. Yep. They said no shortcuts for you. Apparently both my cats are very opinionated this uh, afternoon. Yeah, they... They gave the Wizrobes the sound effects of the Wizrobes from from um, Wind Waker, <laughs> which were the giant, which were in Wind Waker the giant two cans. You know, I've never actually played a Zelda game. Well, I'm at. I was gonna say, is this the first Zelda game you've ever seen? Or, Not um... the first one I've seen. The first one I've seen was actually Breath of the Wild. Voli had it on a Switch, and I was watching him play it. Move rocks and ice away from the departed so that they may rest in peace. As a trap, he means move them right on top of their graves. There we go. Got the fire rod. Yeah, we had a lot of fun with the fire rod last game. <laughs> because since everything is since everything is frozen. Just checking to see if there's anything else down here. Oh. 
I see what's over here real quick. I'm curious now, if you did have four players with this, could one player just hit the formation button and everyone groups up, or...? No, um, if it's four players, then each link is controlled individually. I know, but could one person group everyone up just by hitting the formation button? No. Even briefly? Okay. No. Um, if you have less than one, if you have less than, um, four players, then one of you will have another link to use the formation button with. But other than that, but other than that, it is, um, each link is controlled by a um, singular player. Take another heart container. Five more force gems. Bomb shoes everywhere. It's like the world's most sadistic game of ping pong. Ah! The bomb shoe knocked 100 force gems out of me. Shit and high roll. <clears throat> bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Do you have something to say to the viewers of the stream? What is your opinion on this game? Or do you just want to be a nuisance to me? We got another key. I'm sorry, Zero. My cat really wants my attention. And she has food. She has water. So I don't know what it, what it could be. Yeah, don't worry about it. Like, I don't mind. It's not the first time that a stream got interrupted by a cat. And it looks like I'm about to enter the um, either mini boss or actual boss area real quick. I just love the mechanic of being able to throw your clones at people. Mm. 
Okay, so it looked like that was just the, the mini boss. Jeez, all the. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's a reason why the um, Ice Palace in. There's a reason why the Ice Palace in A Link to the Past was uh, not really a fan favorite. Well, any ice level is not really going to be a fan favorite. Especially not in a platformer or anything that requires you to do a puzzle well. Actually, there's a bunch of... I had to push these colored blocks onto the switches. So what's been new in your life, Zero? Besides the game, of course. Nothing much. Nothing much, really. Just been busy with. Just been busy with work and everything. Yeah. Been busy with work too. Had overtime today and yesterday. Yesterday's though was kind of bullshit because I stood for five hours outside of construction zone, waiting for them to move a crane that had fallen into a building. Uh, Yikes. Yeah, they told us to be there at 9, uh, which is halfway through my shift, because I get in at 4. Uh, they told us to be there at 9, because they were going to start moving everything by 9.30. And by the time my relief got there, I'd been standing there for 5 hours, and they told him that it would be an extra two hours after I left before they got started. So as far as I know, he is still out there. Okay, now it's time for the upgraded fire rod. You got a level 2 fire rod. Now it can make blocks and moving platforms. A regular rod won't do. This one's special. So basically tra evolved basically like evolved your fire the fire rod into the I believe it's the cane of I think it's the cane of Somalia. I believe. The cane of Somalia. Yeah. Um, it's one of the items you can get in, um, it's one of the items you can get in, oh, I love this effect, watch this, Link, oh, yeah, that's actually cool.
Actually, it looks useful, too. By the way, how big of you... How big of you are... Of... By the way, how big of a fan of you of curling? Curling, you mean... Oh, the sport curling. Uh, I played it a couple of times in a Sonic and Mario at the Olympics game, I believe. That is my extent of curling. There we go. There you go. Yeah, this particular dungeon feels like a combination of Ice Palace and, um... Ice Palace and Turtle Rock. Because the Cane of Samaria... Because this effect of the Cane of Samaria only applies in, like, Turtle Rock. Another heart container. That means I'm now maxed out on hearts for this dungeon. And then you turn around and there's the exit. coming with me just a little bit of light kidnapping oh never mind <laughs> I thought that was the maximum but it's not to me zero it's not it wasn't a lie i was just did not have all the information he lied to me chat you saw i don't think there's anybody in chat right now we can pretend we can play pretend oh there's one two three four five six seven users in chat but the question is are they all actual users Please talk in the chat if you're interested, because apparently I have two people who are connected to aliens. And in conglomeration and all roads lead to alien. Wait, aliens as in extraterrestrials or aliens the movie franchise? They're both spelled the same, so I will say, I'll just say yes. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, there's another switch here somewhere. Oh, it's asking me to use the rock's feather. You need to fly free. The sacred grounds lie within this forest. Preparations are complete. Let us proceed. Nah, I don't really feel like it. Link, you've returned to where you started, the Four Swords Sanctuary. Now give us the four royal jewels. Hear me heavens, hear me earth. Heed the light of the royal jewels enshrined here, and restore to us the Tower of Winds. Link, climb the tower. You are entrusted with Princess Zelda's safety. We ever entrust Princess Zelda's safety to, like, someone else? I've been doing this for, what, 20 years now? Uh -huh. I think Hyrule has, like, a retirement plan. Like, at some point, can I... Can, can I get, like, s some pension or something for having saved the princess so many times? Well, to be fair... Well, to be fair, each... I think there's only a couple of... couple of games where there actually are... Where there are actual direct sequels. And even then, for those direct sequels, um... Except for maybe, like, Zelda's 1 and 2, there is no, um... There is no connection to the... Prince to like um, Princess Zelda itself. Well, I say that now, but with the new with the new um, Breath of the Wild game coming out. But anyway, the um, the only ones that I the only true the canonical sequel I remember that doesn't have the connection to Princess Zelda is um, major is between um, Legend of Zelda or Oracle, darn it, well, to be fair, Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons also don't have connections to the Princess Zelda, but also, they're, yeah, yeah, they're, we're ghosts and have its little big armory up all the ground. Yeah, and that's a sequel to Phantom Hourglass, which is a sequel to Wind Waker. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, I who's that see. with you? Have you not noticed Bolly here? No, I haven't. I was paying. I was paying. It's just suddenly different, and he just didn't question it. No, um, I'm just a. No, um, I was um expecting you to appear in the um, chat, but I'm glad to see you both are in the same room together again. Yeah, I just appeared inside of his room. I could have joined over Discord, but I thought this would be more fun. <laughs> <laughs> 